Hey guys, it's Ann Yorks from The Flower Box, and I'm excited to bring you this cute lemonade cookie video. These cookie cutters are featured in the current Flower Box Club Summer Box. I hope you enjoy watching how to make this cute lemonade cart, a lemonade glass, the pitcher, and also a Hello Summer Lemon. Let's cookie it up! The first cookie I'm going to show you how to decorate is a lemonade cart. And I designed this cookie cutter with the team at Ann Clark. So I'm just helping myself with some icing guide dots and that will help me space out these scallops so that they're generally even from cookie to cookie. Now I'll complete the outline and just go around that curve and we are ready to go. I'm going to outline the handle and the base of the lemonade cart using light pink icing. And when I'm doing outlines, I have tip number two on my icing bag. Now I'm flooding in the pastel yellow icing and I'm just being really generous with it. And then I'm just going over those scallops one more time with that flood icing just to cover up my outline and give a nice, clean, seamless look to the edge of the cookie. I'm adding some polka dots just to add a little quick fun to this canopy on the lemonade cart. Now you could do stripes alternating yellow and white, but I find the polka dots are just as cute and a lot faster, definitely less precise than those stripes. Now I'm flooding in the base of the cart using pastel pink flood icing. I have a tip number two on my black icing bag and I'm just adding two sides to the cart. I'll flood in those areas and we're done with the flooding on this cookie. Now it's time to add some details. Using the black, I'm going to pipe a line to create a cute pennant banner. I have tip number 65S on my yellow and white icing bags, and I'm just gonna squeeze out those little mini leaves that look like fun banners on the base of the cart. Now it's time to pipe the word lemonade on the top of the cart. And I like to do almost like an illusion of cursive writing. So notice I'm actually piping each letter individually and overlapping the next letter on top. This just helps reduce any blobbing of icing and keeps those letters individual and nice and neat. Now I am definitely freehanding this, but I've done this more than once, and if it gives you more confidence to use a projector, definitely go for it. It's not cheating. It might even speed up your piping of those letters. done. Don't forget to add the wheels on the bottom of the cart. And then one final detail, using the white piping icing, I'm just going to add a little highlight on the edge of that scalloped canopy just to give it a little bit of texture and dimension. The lemonade cart is now open for business. So on the last cookie, I used guide dots to help set myself up for success. Here's another tip on just prepping your cookie before you decorate, just to help your cookie look consistent and give you confidence to know where you're piping. I actually used a yellow food marker and I traced some of the basic lines that I know I'll need, the edge of the glass, the straw, and the lemonade inside of the glass. Now I'm ready to outline again. I have tip number two on all of my piping bags. I'm outlining the lemonade, the glass, and the straw, all with piping icing. 
Once I'm ready to flood in, I'll use the dark yellow as an accent color for the top of the lemonade. Then using pastel yellow, I'll flood in the base of the glass. Now it's time to add the sky blue. If you're looking for tips for creating these icing colors, check out the blog post using the link in the status below. I have white flood icing to create a highlight on the left side of the glass. And I'm also gonna use that white to add some ice cubes inside the lemonade. This is a lot of wet on wet, which is a little bit of work up front, but once you have the cookie flooded in, the hard work is done and the details are minimal. Let that cookie dry in front of the fan before you come back to flood in the straw and the lemon. I have white and pink, and I'm just going to flood in some diagonal lines to set off the stripes on that straw. If you need to clean up any of those areas, if things don't look straight and even, you can go back in and add a line of flood at those seams just to get things looking nice and straight. I'm gonna flood in the edge of the lemon with the dark yellow, flood in the center with the pastel yellow, and then I'm gonna add some white highlights just to create this lemon. If you need to clean up the edge again, just use a little bit of flood icing and go around the outside. Let this cookie dry again and we're ready just for some few basic outlines. We're gonna outline the glass going across the top just to make it look like the straw is inside of the glass. And then finish that outline going around the edge. If you get a little icing pop, no problem. That happens to everyone. Just touch that tip right up against where the icing popped and continue. Add a little dimension to the straw with an oval pike at the top. A simple outline on the lemon, and this cookie is ready for the front porch. Here's another tip on setting yourself up for success. You can create a template, and I have provided a free template for this cookie on the blog post, um, so feel free to click through and download that. But you can use that template and a yellow food marker, it's made out of food color, to trace that outline of where the lemonade is going to be. And that just gives me a lot more confidence when I'm flooding in this wet on wet cookie. So again, I'll start with the dark yellow, like I did on the lemonade glass, and I'll flood in the top of the lemonade. Then I'll use the pastel yellow to fill in the bulk of that area. Now I'm ready to flood in the blue, but I need to outline a section on the handle using my blue piping icing. Once I have that outlined, I can flood in with the sky blue flood. And I'm just going right up against that yellow just to help it look like that lemonade is inside the pitcher. Again, anytime I'm doing these wet on wet style cookies, sometimes I find I just need to do a little cleanup. And the way I do that is just piping one more line of the flood icing, just to give those nice straight lines between the two different icing colors. All right, now it's time for my favorite part, adding the ice cubes. There's no right or wrong way to do this. Just using your white flood icing, pipe and flood little squares into that lemonade. It'll melt in and just look like those ice cubes are inside the pitcher.
If you see any air bubbles, just get the tip of your scribe in there and pop away. After that cookie has a chance to dry, add some basic blue details just to bring this lemonade pitcher to life. I think these extra lines make the lemonade pitcher look a little bit more three-dimensional and less 2D. All right, that cookie is good to go. Now let's finish with the easiest cookie. I already outlined and flooded in this lemon and we're going to stencil this really bubbly and cute hello summer message onto the surface. Now sometimes when the stencil is very close to the size of the cookie, I find that it's easier to put my stencil in a stencil frame that holds the stencil in place while I slide my scraper across the stencil. Using thick icing is best. It'll really help that image hold its shape. Once you've completely covered the stencil, you can remove any excess and then gently lift up the stencil genie to reveal that beautiful Hello Summer message. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this lemonade tutorial. I hope to see what you make. I would be so flattered if you recreated these cookies. So if you do, definitely tag me at The Flower Box Shop. I'd love to see what you create. Until next time, happy decorating.